For 45 years, Art Basel has attracted both artists and art lovers, and this year, Columbus students got in on the action. I think it's really cool to see all the different interesting kinds of art. I mean, a few feet behind us, there's one that's a couple apples hung at different heights. There's also one that is all painted gold. There are others that are super simple, like just one half white, one half black. It's stuff that you just don't see every day. Art Basel is, of course, a landmark in the art fair sector, um, the most important art fair um, there is, and we're very excited to be part of this. But for the art community, it certainly plays a huge role. One thing that Art Basel provides is the opportunity to broaden people's horizons. Well, like, some of the art is unique and special. I think that's a good thing. It's just a different perspective that we're not used to looking at. This isn't just your traditional style of painting. Here you have stuff that's all these different kinds of art. There's all kinds of things here. We're showing a series of five sculptures that are basically metal gates. Each one is dedicated to a serial killer. Visitors were also able to widen the world view with the wide array of people that Art Basel attracts. Art Basel really brings in a lot of people from all over the place. You can hear people from uh, Scandinavia or Africa or um, like in different Hispanic countries. The benefits of going on a field trip here are to open our eyes towards the different kinds of art, not stuff that we'd normally find in art museum. After visiting the festival, students left with a greater appreciation for art. Signing off for CCNN Live, I'm Chris Vasquez.